Well, howdy, everybody. How are you? I missed you so very much. <laughs> I am Eve with The Baby's Booty. And we are coming to you live in color and in 2021. Can you believe it, y'all? It's a whole nother year. A whole lot of another year. Bringing you uh, some awesome crafts some DIYs, some uh, tutorials, and all kinds of cool things of that magnitude. Now, uh, here at The Baby's Booty, we have a, a group that you are welcome to join here on our website as shown right here, where it says thebabysbooty.com. You can click join in the upper right-hand corner, and you're welcome to join us there. And we have a forum where you can ask questions, you can post pictures of your work and get updates on a lot of the uh, videos and things that we have posted on our website. Also, we have a Facebook page where you can join us as well. It's free of charge and you can pop over to Facebook and type in the Hoop Group or the Baby's Booty and our group should pull up the Hoop Group and you can join us there. If you have any questions, you're, you can feel free to post them there in the group or you can just leave images of things that you're working on. Uh, you also can uh, show people and get opinions. It's really cool. We love our group there. And we have an awesome sauce crew of folks there who is more than willing to reach out and help you. Also, here on YouTube, <laughs> we have a, a membership here on YouTube where you're more than welcome to join and become a type of sponsor of the channel, like uh, give a financial sponsorship to the channel. Um, and the memberships range, there's three different levels, so it can encompass anyone who would like to join. And for those who do join and would like to join, you will receive a bell if you ask for it. You have to ask for it, give me your address and say, hey, I'm a member. This is my YouTube username and I would like to receive a bell and we'll get a bell right out to you. Now, this bell is totally cool. And this bell helps us celebrate your awesome sauce achievements with your business. Now, before we get started in the show today, nine times out of 10, this bell is going to be ringing full steam <laughs> tonight. And I'm really looking forward to that because we know just how cool it is to make achievements in your business or in your personal crafting uh, to purchase equipment, whether it be a sewing machine, serger, embroidery machine, printer for sublimation, um, rhinestone supplies. I'm not even about to ignore my bling because I got a whole heck of a lot of bling. <laughs> the last couple of weeks, I need to bring them <laughs> for myself as much as I spent. But at any rate, the bell helps celebrate. We celebrate with you. You know, they, it's funny how family and friends may not totally understand just how awesome it is to finally get a hold to a cricket or a silhouette machine or something like that. And they're like, mm, okay, and well, we're not like that. We're going to celebrate with you. So that's what this bell is for. So if you got any new babies or some new achievements you would like to have the bell for since we're, you know, starting off in a new business year, a new year, 2021, we're going to celebrate with you. So I'm super excited. I have been gone um, or away. I haven't been live for the last couple of weekends. Um, and a lot of it in the beginning was because of fighting the coronavirus and having COVID and trying to get over that, um, which I have pretty much healed up from it from what I can tell um, for those who may be interested or have asked my daughter completely recovered no issues no lingering effects that I'm aware of or she hasn't told me of any and for myself just a slight cough um, that I'm still dealing with but for the most part everything's great I have my energy back um, I've been able to uh, work on painting my other craft room, I've been doing that um, and doing some bling projects, which I'm going to share with you here shortly. Um, and I also have been spending some extra special time with the hubby and uh, just 
trying to chill out for a little bit before jumping into some of the planned goodies that we have coming up for the new year. So one of the things I do like to do with this channel is say hello to the folks who have joined us. And normally I would have jumped into the chat by now, but we'll go ahead and jump into the chat now because I miss everybody. Oh my God. There was some, some Sundays I was like, ah, oh, just, just go five just because. <laughs> I was like, no, I said I was going to take a quick break and spend time recuperating and give him the attention that I could not give when I was sick. Y'all, it was tragic. I hope none of it. For those who have gotten over the coronavirus, wow, my heart, kudos to you. My heart's to you. Um, that was tough. It, it wasn't as bad as many have had it, though. So I'm um, one of the ones who was able to recover, and I am eternally grateful for that and appreciative. But um, it, it wasn't an easy journey at all. Um, I didn't feel like doing anything but sleeping, y'all. And it sometimes it was rough even doing that. So um, I hope that none of you get it, that haven't gotten it already and also really quickly let me also say thank you to the many of you even like miss wanda faith was totally awesome she reached out and sent a card um so those of you who have taken the time to actually reach out to me personally and give well wishes um give suggestions of things that i could do to make it better uh, to help ease the suffering of the symptoms and whatnot. Um, thank you. I really, definitely, truly, from the bottom of my heart, really appreciate that because it was amazing to see the outpouring of support um, from here in the Hoop group, also family and friends. Um, it was just, it was really amazing. And there were days I may not have responded right away and that's because when you're in the thick of it and you're suffering, <laughs> you're in pain or you had in a hot flash or something like that, you know, it makes it difficult to be able to, you know, throw that to the side and say, hi, you know, and be a bit, you know, it was, it was tragic. So I want to say thank you. Thank you very, very much. And I am glad to be on this side of things. So let me get into the chat uh, without any further ado. Bork Hero Sewings and Crafts. Hello. How are you? Welcome. Thank you very much. You and Lupe and Simply Jewel. Welcome. Thank you. Allison Holloway. I appreciate that. Thank you, Robin Bryant. Hello. How are you, my dear? Welcome. Um, Bork Hero. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I work really hard on that thing. I love it, too. Nina Walk, hello, how are you? Jackie Cos, hi, Dextra Wilson, hello, my dear. Thank you very much for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I definitely appreciate it. Little Miss Boutique, hello, thank you. I am feeling better and I appreciate it. SB, SB the name, it works for me. Good day to you as well. Welcome, thank you for joining us. You gotta be kidding, thank you. I appreciate that and I'm happy to be back. Miss Andrea Ross, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome. I appreciate you being here and I appreciate you being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Miss Rashi checked on me <laughs> even in instances where I wasn't myself. It's crazy. Y'all, it was crazy. It's been crazy. Uh, but we'll get into that a smidge here shortly when we talk about our goals. Uh, Simone Warren, hello. Nancy Fowles, Bella Daisy, 24. Hey, Allison Holloway, thank you. I missed y'all too. Deborah Harris, Neil, hello. How are you? Miss everyone. <laughs> Carol Coleman, hey, Miss Carol Coleman. Thank you for joining us and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Michelle B, thank you. Tanya, hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm happy to be here too, girl. Woo. I appreciate you being here, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. <laughs> Miss Bickham, hello, how are you? And thank you as well for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Miss 143, thank you as well for being a YouTube Hoop Group member, and I am feeling better. And Jane, hello, I am, I am, thank you. Simone Warren, yes, I appreciate it. Thank you for being here with us. Miss Lady D, thank you, so, so creative. 
Welcome. Thank you for joining us. So crafty yas. <laughs> Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube who group member as well. Uh, Carmen Alvarado, yas. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being a YouTube who group member. She says it's cold. It's been chilly up until the last two days here in North Carolina. It's been kind of like warm-ish. It's crazy. Like if if the COVID don't get you, the weather will. I don't understand. <laughs> Mom of twelve, she says she got a new surger, a brother one hundred three four D. So Miss Mom of twelve is going to go ahead and get us started out with our bell ringing for the night. Holler! <laughs> Congratulations on your new serger. Please be sure to post pictures of some of the awesome sauce crafts that you'll be making with your new serger. We love serger. I need to set up mine. Actually, I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, oh, I need to get that serger set up. Um, Michelle Anderson. Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Laura Dixon. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you for joining us. This is Ashley. Hello. Yes. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. I am feeling better. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Laverne Miller, hello. Welcome. Yes, I'm happy to be back. <laughs> Latasha Jackson, yes. Thank you. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Heather Butler, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. EJ's daughter, thank you for joining us. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. And yes, I am feeling better. PJ Coppage, thank you. Yas, I am better, much, much better. And thank you for joining us this evening. Dorothy Gaston from the Hoop Group. Yas, hashtag Hoop Group from the STL. Welcome. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, I was a little bit worried too. Um, a little bit, a lot of it worried. Um, so I am glad to be back. Mary Brown, thank you for joining us. And Kimberly Joyner. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us and thank you for being a YouTube Who group member. She said, I literally yelled, yay. <laughs> when I saw the notification come across the screen, I would like a bell because I bought two new babies, a sawgrass printer and a brother NQ1660E embroidery machine. Yay! like two babies <laughs> i figured more folks will have some babies so i'm excited yeah dorothy gaston too hi sheila cushionberry <laughs> good evening to you as well and thank you for joining us miss dorothy gaston says she also has two new babies an epson 4700 she uses as a regular printer and then an epson 2720 that she is going to use to sublimate some stuff <laughs> Congratulations on your two babies, too. Oh, uh oh. Shelly, Shelly, Shellins, so crafty. Shellins, so crafty. She says, Hello, everyone from Seattle. My new babies are my Cricut Maker and a Juki 1181 Industrial Sewing Machine. She's supposed to make some money, y'all. Hi! Shelly Lynch, Shellins, Shellins. I, I keep messing it up. My brain is saying one thing and my mouth is saying something different. That is crazy. But congratulations on your two new babies too. VR Summer says, hi from California. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you, Miss Vivian. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Suzanne, go grand go. Yes, welcome back. Thank you for joining us from Florida. I appreciate you being here. Always a pleasure. PJ Coppin says, my daughters are all excited to see you have recovered. Tell them thank you. I am too, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. I haven't been that. I haven't been. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was I that that was a weird whole sickness. And I'm just trying to make sure I don't catch it again or catch whatever else is out there. <laughs> so I've been here at home. Not fooling with hardly anybody anywhere doing anything. So, you know, ordering groceries, the whole nine, y'all. I'm I'm not trying to go down that road ever again. 
uh, Treasure Designs LLC. Good evening to you as well. And thank you for joining us. Yvette Sharp, welcome. Thank you for joining us and thank you. I appreciate that. Karen Murray, good to have you here as well. Thank you for joining us. American Eagle Embroidery and Graphics. First, thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. And I am glad you are still hanging out in New York and hopefully you are having a ball. So definitely enjoy some extra time up there for me. Charlene Mitchell, thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you for joining us this evening. Um, SB is the name. You're Sean. <laughs> Okay, Sean, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me know what that was. Miss Beckham says, I don't have the coronavirus, but having a rough lung issues and fluid. Oh, no, we need to get rid of that fluid, Mom. You know, we can't do that. That's not good. <laughs> we got to be careful with that heart. Inspiration Creations. Hey, Lori, thank you. I appreciate it, my dear. And thank you for joining us this evening. Simone Langley, thank you. I appreciate it. T. Moore, hello. Thank you. I appreciate that as well. Wings Designs, hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. T. Moore says, I just got a Topaz 50. And that is an embroidery machine. <laughs> more and we also have a new member that's what's up oh my gosh miss social dev has hooked up with the hoop group crew so welcome to the hoop group crew here on youtube <laughs> thank you for joining us and uh our crew here on youtube we appreciate it Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, so creative says, I was gifted the Cricut Easy Press 2, which is a 12 by 10 for Christmas and some and some needed tools and vinyl. I received the Cricut Maker earlier. So, congratulations on all your goodies. <laughs> babies that is awesome sauce so please be sure to post pictures y'all uh with your new babies of some of the cool stuff you're making we would love to see them all laura dixon says i purchased your so pro and i purchased so art so art is awesome and so a pro is just hands down the bees bees i absolutely love so pro so congratulations on your so Yes, we will ring for So What Pro as well because it is such an awesome program. If you are looking for a top-notch embroidery editing program, So What Pro is the way to go. And there is a link in the description below for So What Pro as well as you can just go to thebabiesbooty.com. We are an official distributor of So What Pro. So whenever you purchase through us, we send you your code directly from them. So definitely uh, be sure to grab So It Pro. All right, let's see. So Crafty received the Mighty Hoop Starter Kit. Yes! Oh, we love Mighty Hoop around here too. <laughs> yes, what's up? Congratulations, So Crafty. That is awesome. Show us your fancy moves with your Mighty Hoop now. Take a picture, whatever you hoop something with it, so we can see what you're doing. <laughs> Kathleen Thompson, good evening and good to see you as well. Just, just Jesus LLC, hello, new here, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for letting us know that you're new. Uh, Karen Kiesling, welcome. Pamela Smith says your brother is in the hospital with COVID. Oh no, we will have to uh, definitely hope that he gets better. And he recovers. Please keep me updated. I would like to know. Hey, Miss Janet McKinney. How are you? I am great. Thank you for asking. Uh, Shellen Crowders. Thank you. I appreciate it. Treasure Designs LLC bought the ET2720 for sublimation and was also gifted two flatbed knitting machines for Christmas. Cool. I love to see pictures of those. Congratulations. <laughs> Please definitely let me see those knitting machines because the one that I have is round and I haven't used it in ages. Um, I don't know how to knit at all. So please show us pictures of your knitting machine. And we have 
a new member looks like. Someone joined up. Let's see who we have. We have Nora22000. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yes, we already got all. Look at the bells. The bells is just crazy, y'all. The bells is crazy. And I'm seeing even more babies coming up. Let's see. Um, Jackie Maddox says she's late joining her team is playing. <laughs> we don't want to mess up the game, but welcome. Thank you for joining us. Shamira Customs, hello, hello, thank you, Mary. <laughs> she said honey buns, thank you for joining us this evening, hello, Nora2200, again, welcome, because I didn't get to tell you welcome earlier, Zoranda, hey, Zoranda, dear, how are you, welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member, I appreciate it, and Jane says she got me the baby lock meridian, totally intimidated, but learning slowly, don't be intimidated now, but learning slowly is the key. Just find some really simple projects to do and you will master it in no time. But meanwhile, you're going to get your bell ring. So congratulations. <laughs> yes. And then Carmen says it's a party at the hoop group with all new babies. Yes, it is. And I already saw this coming. Heather Butler says, I finally got a cricket maker. Congratulations on your cricket girl. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> I love it. I love when, when the new stuff comes in. It's just so cool to see it and to celebrate with you. I love it. Miss Pressure 412 says, hi, Miss Even, everyone. Hello, and thank you very much. I appreciate that. Willa Avalon says, good evening. I am happy to announce my new baby of 15 by 15 heat press. I am so excited. <laughs> yes, you are, girl. We're going to get you pressing. <laughs> We're going to have you pressing all kind of stuff at no time. All right. So before I go any further, because I'm sure there's more babies coming up in this chat. I posted a question in Facebook and I want to see what if you haven't answered in Facebook or even if you have, you can go ahead and answer again. But my question to the group was what new craft do you think I will be adding this year? Let me know in the chat below what you think what new craft do you think i'll be adding this year so who knows just how much bigger the hoop group will grow because once we add this it opens up a huge a whole huge channel over it's just gonna be crazy y'all but i'm excited i'm i'm super uh, here's a clue i'm super 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 nervous <laughs> So if you've been following me for any time, I've mentioned this numerous times and was like, ooh, so I'm super nervous about it. But let me know what you think in the uh, chat below. So um, I'll let you know here shortly. Um, Miss the purple one, Miss Deanna, welcome. Thank you for joining us and thank you. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, Nora says you got the Sew Up Pro so art, rather. When did you get it? If it was within the last 30 minutes, I would not have, or 30 minutes to an hour. I haven't checked my email. Um, but if it was before that, let me know what date it was, okay? Um, and it's a good possibility it was sent, but you have to check the email that the you have to check the email, your email of the PayPal address that you use to purchase the program. So it could be in your spam uh, because I try to make sure whenever I check my email, as soon as I see something, I go ahead and try and send it right out because I know if I purchase something, I want my code right away. I don't want to have to wait. So no matter what I'm doing aside from driving, I will go ahead and get a code right out. So let me know what day it was that you purchased and I'll check it while I'm sitting here. Sheila Cushenberry says, stay safe, rare, but can catch COVID again. According to my endocrinologist, the vaccine is available to frontline workers now and the public soon. Yes, it is. Uh, Victoria Sims says, good evening. So great to see you. Thank you. I appreciate that very, very much. Margot Cromarty. Uh-oh, my thing just skipped all kind of place. Um, let me go back up. Okay, here we go. She says, <laughs> no, Margo Cromer T. McClure, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. My daughter is doing much better. I mean, she 
uh, she got, she had what, two weeks maybe. And then she was like out the door feeling better. No issues. She had cabin fever horribly. So, but she was fine. Um, she's much, much, much better. No issues whatsoever. Whereas, um, I'm just, I'm doing better. I'm pretty much 95. I feel 95% back to where I was, um, minus memory, oh my god, y'all, this thing is, like, the whole putting words together sometimes, and remembering what you talk, it's just, it's crazy, that part, and not feeling it, but, you know, it's, it's, it's all right, it could be worse, <laughs> it could be a lot worse, um, Miss Social Deb, welcome, thank you for joining us, I appreciate that, and thank you for being a YouTube hoop group member, um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Iris Diaz, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, medical sources are saying to take the MMR vaccine. Oh, that's neat. I don't, I didn't know. I was, I had, do, have I had, I know my kids have had that. I'll have to check. Um. Oh, she got hers from heat press nation. That's a nice one. Haven't seen you in a while. In a while, I'm doing fine. I just took some time off uh, to recuperate and to um, spend some time with the hubby. Since for two weeks, I was pretty much just sleeping. <laughs> I just, oh, it was bad, y'all. It was it was bad, but it's better. Hello, Isabel. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, hello, Latanya Wade Willis. Welcome. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for being letting us know that you're new here. Gail Moore, welcome. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for joining us for the first time. We love new folks. Be sure to sign up here either at thebabiesbooty.com or on Facebook at our Hoop Group. We would love to have you here. Pearl Lucas. Hey, Pearl Lucas. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um. Let's see. Yes, so crafty. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Dr. Threads. <laughs> hey, Dr. Threads. How are you? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Um. Oh, Jenny McKinney says she just got a brother scanning cut. Hope to have a lot of fun. Pray I can learn how to use it. Now I have to get more things. Yes, you do. <laughs> Congratulations. Brother scanning cut in this house. Yes. And even with the brother scanning cut, just start out small. Don't jump like head first into everything. Um, maybe do a little bit of t-shirt vinyl. That's pretty easy. Um, and you could even, I would say start with like some onesies. But the problem with the onesies is they're kind of pricey. They're kind of pricey. If you don't have a heat press though yet, like a cricket press or something. Then let's say start with some um, sign vinyl, sign vinyl. So when you go to look for vinyl on Amazon or in um, Michaels, for instance, look for the, oh God, what is the name of those people? Look for, uh, I know or I know six fifty one is good. Caesar, look for Caesar, uh, S I S E R. Look for Caesar and look for um, permanent vinyl. I'm pretty sure is what they call it. But try that because it's it's uh you don't have to have the heat press and you can create stickers like for instance when people have their pantry and they have their flour container and sugar and they put one a sticker on the front that says flour and one that says sugar stuff like that you can get um 651 is permanent vinyl though so be careful where you apply it because it is permanent not made to come off um, they do have another kind that's not so permanent that you can peel it off or whatever if you just want to play with it um, at Michael's as well. So I think those are called window. No, maybe not window. I don't know what, what it's called um, because I don't do those very often. Usually when I'm using uh, vinyl, the adhesive vinyl, I'm trying to do something that's permanent. I'm not trying to do something that will come back off. So definitely check that out. 
um, Miss Rini's baby. So glad to be able to catch you live. Well, we're glad you're here with us. Thank you for joining us this evening. I really appreciate it. And thank you for letting me know that uh, you're new here. And Miss Social Tip says knitting. All right. So getting into something for me to add this year. Knitting. No, not quite. <laughs> The thing with knitting, I tried. I promise y'all, I tried. I really did it. My hands and arms, it just that that rhythm just it wasn't there. So no, I couldn't do it. Glow Forge. Um, Sheila Cushionberry says, so crafty says direct the garment printing. Um, uh, PJ Coppage, tell me more about the craft planner, please. I definitely will. I have it right here with me. Um, uh, Chinta Slade, resin and epoxy. Good guess. Um, let's see. Inspiration Creation says Glow Forge. Yolanda says Direct the Garment. Robin Bryant says Glow Forge. Tiny says Resin. Miss Presha says Crochet. I do crochet already, but um, wasn't going to add that. EJ's Daughter Garment Sewing. I, EJ's Daughter. <laughs> I was, um, at one point in time, I, it, okay, funny story, really quick. I have more patterns, sewing clothing patterns in my studio that are ridiculous. I have a huge collection of sewing patterns, which is sad because I've always said one day I was going to sew each and every last one of those different patterns, especially the clothing that was for me. But I don't have the patience <laughs> to sew clothing. I just don't because usually an outfit, a dress, or pants, or whatever, they come with all the different pieces, right? And you have to cut each one out, usually twice, usually interfacing. <laughs> then you have to line it up to sew and sew it to sew. And see, my thing is when I'm working on a project, I like for a project to be like over and done, like I'm done. I don't like to have, get started on a project and have it still sitting out. And then three, four, five days later, it's still sitting there because I haven't finished sewing it. So it's like, and then the one time I did try to sew a dress, I was trying to cut corners. I had this beautiful purple fabric. Y'all know that's my color. Beautiful purple fabric. And I was going to make this dress. It was absolutely cute. And I didn't interface anything. And I sewed it all it together. It was supposed to be a simple dress. And when I put that thing on, y'all, I look like Barney in a tent. Barney. So, yeah, no. Um, I don't think it'll be clothing. <laughs> I don't think it'll be garment sewing. One day, yes. Right now, mm -mm, I got to get my patience down first. Bickham says Glow Forge. Nora says she loves knitting. Receive the Cricut Joy as a Christmas present. Miss Andrea Ross says, so we need to ring the bell for you. The Cricut Joy is cute. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. That Cricut Joy is super cute. I started to get me one. Um, but we'll get into that here in a moment. Ascension Brown says vinyl. We do a little bit of vinyl, but not too much. Miss 143, let me see something. Let me see something. Miss 143, I think you are the first person to actually say it. And yes, we're talking about doing, Miss Beckham will be ever so happy, but we're talking about doing quilting. <laughs> so we're talking about doing some quilting here in the hoop group. So for those of you who are already into quilting, welcome me to the ring. <laughs> a little bit like eh, do I really but I'm 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 actually excited and um there there'll be a little bit of a twist to it but I'm still super excited about it and yes it is something that I am um going to get into so look forward to seeing some quilting glowforge for those of you who say glowforge I wish I really wish uh but when I call glowforge um and was greeted with the the prices especially of the one that i was really interested in mm, mm, not right now <laughs> it'll be a minute it'll it'll be a, a minute before i can 
swing a glow forge. So no, no, not not the glow forge. Um, and for the others, resin. Resin is definitely on the radar. The only downside with the resin is um, because I even have some molds and everything. I thought they were in here, but I guess not. Um, I've even purchased some molds. I already had resin from a while ago because I was going to get into it a couple of years ago. So I have some resin. Um, not the good kind, though. It's like bargain basement type resin or whatever where you get from joints um so yes resin is on the radar as well um i just haven't like actually taken the leap into it but it looks super cool and i'm pretty excited about that as well um i just need to be sure that i'll be able to do it because of i understand i think there's an odor to it like you can it, it has a smell so we'll have to see because i'm like really super sensitive to like for instance this particular glue which i'm gonna be showing you guys here in a minute that i use to do my rhinestones with has a slight odor to it but nothing like e6000 i think is the name of that glue is like really bad so that being said um yes resin is on the radar as well but my uh thing was the quilting We'll see. Can we get into it? So it's got to be good. <laughs> Elizabeth Rathburn, welcome. Yes, we love having you here. And thank you so much for joining us. So before I get too much, uh, she said, if it's the Glow Forge, I'm going to have to grab some extra masks and sanitizer. <laughs> I know, right? If it was the Glow Forge, y'all would have seen me dancing and singing by now. I'm just going to say. Um, and not necessarily just the Glow Forge. There's another one out there. I can't think of the name of it. Um, that's a little bit more affordable, but even still, that's kind of like, once we moved and bought the house, it's like, okay, yeah, no, not, not right now. Not right now. I can't, can't do but too much going on. Um, okay. Stephanie Flores, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And thank you for joining us this evening. I appreciate that. Elizabeth Rathburn says she got a new to me brother PE770 to go with her 625. Yes! 5x7. 5x7. 5x7 in the house. Congratulations. Yes, that's what's up. Trudy, she's new. Welcome. Knickknack Nurse, welcome. All right, you guys. I'm trying to get caught up so that I can. Thank you, Nellie Smith. I appreciate it. Dr. Three is no, not leather. That's not a bad idea, though. We'll look into that. Um, Carmen Alvarado says, thank you, hubby, for taking good care of our friend Eve. Yes, him did. Shirley Stewart, thank you for joining us. Welcome. Um, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Yes, I said I was definitely going to be back. Um, May by Q says, hey, glad you're better. I have a Cameo Pro. Yes, need a bell ring. And I got AccuQuilt Go and die. Yes, that's what's up. Congratulations, Made by Q. That's a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> See, you got the quilt, so we're going to be getting into it. We're going to be getting into it. Um, Michelle Flowers, thank you. I appreciate that. Allison Holloway, where do I buy Mylar? Mylar, um, it depends. If I'm just doing a simple, you know, test run of something or making something simple, I can get Mylar from Hobby Lobby, actually, sales Mylar. But, um, oh my gosh, uh, happy Texmac, T E X M A C, Texmac Direct sells mylar for embroidery as well. So, Texmac, and I'll put that in the uh, direct, I'll put that in the chat. Um, I don't have the direct link though right now. Um, okay, so let me really quickly show you guys, because I said I was going to remove vinyl. Thank you. That's the name of it. Cool. Um, let me go ahead and show you, thank you, Avery Head, uh, what I am. Oh, hey, Scooby-Doo. Welcome. Jeez, thank you for joining us. I appreciate that because I know you haven't been feeling the best. So thank you. Lisa Thompson, welcome. Thank you, Miss Bickham saying. <laughs> Just read that. Tell me you better not take quilting. Ooh, I'm in trouble, y'all. Um, okay, so 
she said no not barney yes barney yeah definitely barney it was it was a 10 yeah i love you you love yeah that barney yeah it was it was, it was bad yeah you must have missed my earlier post about quilting yes i did susan currents yes okay cool okay 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 she said i do hold on what did i just see I do t-shirt quilting. Oh, t-shirt quilting. Okay, I know what you're talking about. The quilt that's made out of t-shirts. Yes, those are really cool, actually. Um, but our quilting is going to encompass embroidery. So we will be doing embroidery quilting. Yes, we will, y'all. Yes, we will. Um, Let's see. Thank you, Chris. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, Miss One says, well, I said quilting earlier, but if you don't like sewing. No, I, I love to sew. Now, that's, I love to sew. I love to sew. The thing is, is clothing. Clothing sewing is completely different from everything else sewing. Um, sewing blankets, sewing, even though I don't like sewing blankets anymore because people just don't have any sense of oh my god maybe that's too big to be sewing on a sewing machine yeah you think why would you have me sewing a king size anyway sewing blankets even though i don't really want to do those anymore sewing window treatment sewing um handbags oh i love sewing bags handbags sewing um gosh what else baby bibs burp cloths stuff stuff like that you know that's different clothing is just so much more to it and so many different pieces and so much you have to pay attention to and make sure you follow just so that's why i know cl clothing is not an option not for the camera because i know <laughs> i would lose patience and it wouldn't be a good video to see so no not clothing but i love to sew Susan Hicko Gringo says, you are much, much more beautiful than Barney. Barney, I appreciate that, but that's exactly how I felt. I wore that dress in public one time and threw it away. Sure did. Sure did. So, so creative says, making jewelry. I love jewelry. Love making jewelry. I just, not sure that we'll get into that. We'll see. Um, EJ's daughter loves quilting. Y'all, Miss 143 does too. Shamira Customs, I sold my first memory bear with embroidery on the tummy. OMG, the head placement was a challenge to sew. Congratulations, that's what's up. The memory bear and the tummy embroidery, the stuffed animal embroidery actually is what I should say. It's actually pretty fun. Um, you just have to know how to lay it just so in order to get him to work but it can work where can i get the marine vinyl for in the hoop projects um quite a few places actually my um mm, my punk broidery my punk broidery i think is one my punk broidery um and there's another one and because i have a bit of a headache i can't remember what it is right now something about the moon if you can if you guys have a suggestion of where you get your marine vinyl from, please drop it in the comments below. Help me out because I can't remember all of them. Latanya, thank you. I appreciate that. She says, welcome to the quilting world. <laughs> that is awesome. Hello, Angelia Baker. How are you? How are you? No, I'm not going to sell anything on Etsy, Miss Janet McKinney. I'm not a fan of Etsy and their fees, so we're not going to fool with Etsy. I actually have my own website or had my own website. I, if I were to sell, I would do that again, but I'm I'm not going to sell anything. Um, No, I am not, Latanya, getting a long arm. Not as of yet, anyways. Um, quilting is more time consuming than sewing. It can't... See, okay... Yes, I can see that. Definitely, I can see that. Um, but for me, the difference with quilting versus sewing clothing would be when you're so when I'm sewing an outfit or most for me most instances I'm sewing a dress. I love dresses. So if I were sewing a dress for myself, I have to make sure the measurements are just so. Gotta get that just right, then fit it, then get the interfacing, then da 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 da. Whereas quilting is 
you know, your square or your triangle or your fussy cut. And that's that, you know, and then you have your squish in the middle and then your backing. Um, and of course, there's some other options out there as well, matching your fabrics and stuff. But you got to do all that with clothes, too. It's just it's crazy. I'm just, yeah, no, not not the clothes, not the clothes. Um, shelling so crappy. I just got into crazy quilting and embellishments, and I love it. Sky's the limit. Yay for quilting. Okay, cool. So I'm super excited about this. Um, Miss Bickham, I thought kind of thought you'd say Tumblr resin. Okay, so there was a point in time where I was considering tumblers, and I'm sure Mr. Larry is very happy that I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, or thinking along those lines. But no, with the tumblers, actually, we are going more the bling route now. So I have had an absolute ball blinging out this cup. Okay. So much so that I already have my next victim for blinging and will be doing that. But this was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. Um, I've decided that this is definitely something that I'll be doing for fun. This is not going to be a part of business. This is not going to uh, be sold on any websites. This is just if I like someone enough and I know there's something that they would like to have, like I have a niece that wants one, um, so I'll probably be making her one pretty soon. But tumblers and cups, stuff like that, bling is what I'll be doing um, on those. So this one is mine. Um, it's the first one I've ever done. And as I mentioned, I learned a lot. Um, this is SS, for those who may be curious, this is SS16. These stones are mostly SS16 stones. I did, or I attempted, the honeycomb method of applying the stones. Honeycomb meaning that one row, uh, is applied, and then the second row is alternated in the, um, indentions of the first row, and then the second row is in the indentions. I'm sorry, the third row is in the indentions of the second row, so on and so forth. So you get like a beehive honeycomb effect. Um, it was not easy. It well, let me rephrase that. Technically, it was easy, but but in little ways, it wasn't. Um, but this was a lot of fun. Then the medallion in the middle. Um, I ended up purchasing SS three size stones which are the smallest stones I've ever dealt with and um I bling the medallion don't really care for how the medallion turned out I didn't like doing that very much so I'll probably cover the medallion the next time uh, but this was a lot of fun y'all I am loving bling so tumblers and stuff um I will probably have a video or two on blinging um, a cup or a tumbler or something uh, so that you guys can see it. I have already started a video on blinging a volleyball. Okay, so I've started the volleyball. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, this is the second attempt on this volleyball because the first attempt, I don't know if you can see the glue that's on the ball right here. Can you see that glue? So I scrape those stones off because <laughs> I didn't like how it turned out and so now we're doing with this volleyball we're doing the scatter method so the scatter method is going to be on the volleyball and we're going to cover the entire ball um, one side of it though is going to have the recipient's name and uh, most likely her team number um, I'll have to double check on that but definitely her name is going on the ball and this is a gift as well. This is not for sale. Um, so there's going to be a lot of blinging coming up as well in our uh, future. So we've talked about quilting. We've talked about epoxy. We've talked about bling. But I want to kind of, since it's going on 10 o'clock, I kind of want to jump into 
our title for our show. And one of the titles, um, the title is the top five um, goals for crafting businesses. Now, even though it's the top five goals for crafting businesses, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a business um, in order to have these five goals because goals are important whether you are um, in this to make money or not. But one thing's for certain, if you are in this to make money, then you definitely want to have goals. I want to be the first to admit to the fact that goals have never been my forte. That's not something that I've um, been successful in doing because I have always been a, um, I've always been the type of person to live life vicariously. And um, if it seems feasible to do it, then I'm going to do it. Um, for instance, when it comes to our videos that we pre record and put on the channel, usually I did not have a list of, I'm going to have this video out by January, this video out by February, that video out by March. I've never been that type of a person because what I've learned is to flow and adapt to the needs of the audience. So there are instances where I may feel like this is the type of video that you guys should see or may want to see, but then I would get numerous questions on a different subject and I'll say you know what let's do a video on that instead and so that's pretty much how um I've always done through school so on and so forth but what I'm learning as I'm getting older I definitely need to set goals okay now there's a number of you all in here who have just received new babies congratulations again um the new babies are a really good reason to sit down and plan out your goals. Number one, in planning out your goals, you want to make sure that you are making plans in harmony with your budget. Let's, let's back up again and reiterate that. Make sure that your goals are in harmony with your budget. That's first and foremost. That's my number one goal. Make sure that your, well, actually it's not a goal, but it's, it's a part of the, it is a goal, but it encompasses setting your goals. You definitely want to make sure that your budget fits in when you're looking at your goals. The reason behind that is one of the biggest drawbacks that I found in our, uh, area of expertise we quilt or we'll be quilting now <laughs> we we're looking we're doing quilting we're embroidering we're doing vinyl we're doing uh sublimation we're doing rhinestones you have printers you have cutters you have embroidery machines you have sewing machines you have sergers you have i mean the list goes on and on and on and on. And I get a lot of emails and comments and stuff where they're like, you know, we, I bought this because I added this because you were having fun with it and I wanted to do it too. And that's awesome. I appreciate it. Sometimes I'm like, Ooh, I'm sorry. But I understand because what we do as crafters, we have such a broad range of things that we would love to get into and love to try, um, like even with the resin. But what the reason why I'm saying budget is because usually it's a trap door, so to speak. So if you get into embroidery, for instance, you will need an embroidery machine. Okay. Well, there are inex somewhat inexpensive embroidery machines, about three, four, four hundred dollars now. So you can get an embroidery machine for four hundred dollars. The problem is usually when you get that four hundred dollar embroidery machine, you end up wanting something bigger. You end up wanting something bigger, which is understandable. Okay. So 
let's even go go back a step. So say you're content with the 4x4 embroidery machine because it fit into your budget. Well, then you have to buy stabilizer. You have to buy needles. You have to buy bobbins. You have to buy, um, oh my goodness, you have to buy designs. You have to buy thread. You see what I'm saying? So as you get into each one of these projects, you know, there's more that you have to invest in or you will eventually invest in as time goes on. And the same with a lot of the other crafts, just like someone mentioned in here, I mentioned quilting and the first thing she asked was, you know, are you getting a long arm? Because a long arm quilting machine is like the Cadillac of, of, of quilting so that you can quilt bigger projects. Um, so saying all of that to emphasize again, your top goal would be to set goals in accordance with your budget. So please keep that in mind. Ask questions, um, before you jump into, uh, your next branch of your crafting experience. Um, those who have already gotten new babies i'm sure you've already hung around and you've seen a lot of the things that go with your new babies like your silhouette or your cricket vinyl you have um marine vinyl you have rhinestones those are some of the things that you can do with a cricket and that doesn't even include all the other stuff that you can do with cricket like greeting cards and you know just it's so much oh my gosh we do so much we have access to so much so definitely do that. Number two um, would be in, in top five goals. Number two, I'm going to ask, and even with this, I am in need of doing this myself now that I have a CFO, is set your financial goals. Set your financial goals for the year because you don't want to, again, follow in my footsteps where for years I would make money and then buy more product and then make money and then buy more product, you know, without keeping accountability of where each investment is going uh, when it's time to buy more product or buy new equipment. So that being the case, one of my biggest goals for 2021 is to do better with my budgeting and making sure that uh, my bookkeeping is where it needs to be. Now, for those of you who are already on top of that, go ahead and put a check mark in my top five goals for this year coming uh, for our crafting business because um, that's a big one and it sometimes even requires investment in a CNA or bookkeeper or tax person, something like that. So definitely get into um, getting some financial stuff set up. Um, our number three goal for the year is more of a I don't want to say a curse, but it's more of a problem with crafters. It's more of a problem with crafters. I, as, as very few crafters do I know that won't need to set this goal. And that's to be more organized, to be more organized. And we've had a, a live kind of sort of on this um, a few months back. But organization is key for what we do because we have our hands in so many different graphs going back to goal number one um it also in like for instance i have rhinestones well i have hot fix rhinestones and we're talking about rhinestones of all different colors we have rhinestones in for me usually two or three different sizes when it comes to hot fix well now that i've added in um our flat back rhinestones where you have to use adhesive to apply these um, so now I have glue that I need to um, keep account of. I have different size stones, different color stones, because once we get into like the uh, volleyball, for instance, the method that I'm using to uh, bling the volleyball is called scatter. So there's, 
on this particular ball two different sizes that I'm using in crystal stones. So I have to keep up with the different sizes of my stones, the different containers that they're in. Um, with hot fix, I have, also have to keep up with the uh, rhinestone flock. I also have to keep up with the transfer tape. I mean, it's just, there's a lot. There's a lot to our crafts and our crafting. So organization is key and it's something that's super, super duper important um, because we do have so much um, inventory and so much uh, supplies and, and things. So definitely uh, work on our organization. Now, in working on our organization with tip number three, one of the things I would like to ask you guys to do is um, let us know of your top organizational method that you would like to share with everyone else. So say, for instance, uh, you may not be very good at organization, but one thing that you do organize very well, you're proud of it and you want to let us know. So definitely check that out. Um, one that I just learned from another group, I've shown you guys my totally awesome high end, uh, stabilizer organizer organizer. I've shown you guys that before it's just a 30 gallon metal garbage can that I have all of my stabilizers, my big rolls of stabilizers in the garbage can. Well, someone showed me this over the door pocket purse organi organizer a week or so ago where it hangs on the door. It hangs on a door or it can hang up in a closet and you can just put rolls of stabilizer in there and you can, um, if it's, if it's laid this way where it's flat up against the wall, and this is the front of it, you can actually put um, labels on the front, like cut away, tear away, um, solve so on and so forth. So I thought this was pretty neat. We're going to see how it goes. Um, I'm not sure <clears throat> this will fit my super, super large rolls because I have some rolls over there that are almost 40 inches tall. Uh, but we'll see. Most of my rolls are not that big. So hopefully this will work out really well. But that's one organizational tip I wanted to um, share with you all. I got that from Amazon. It's a six purse, six pocket purse organizer. Six pocket purse organizer. Uh, so we'll give that a shot. But that's one way to get organized. Another thing I wanted to share in getting organized is this planner. Now, this planner was created for folks who do embroidery, okay? This was created for us embroidery folks, but it can be used for crafters as well. The cool thing about this planner is it also can be used for uh, those of us who choose to have a business and we want to organize our customers and our orders. So this is actually a really cool planner. It was made by Miss um, Alexis Galloway and she runs So Sweet Monogramming. So Sweet Monogramming. And this is her planner. It says my pretty perfect planner. And this is an awesome planner. Awesome, awesome, awesome planner. It really is. It's very heavy duty. It's not flimsy at all. Um... And I think she even has an option where you can download some pages from her website and, you know, put a planner together yourself as well without investing in this. But this is so sturdy. I would suggest this over printing out sheets. The link is in the description below. I added it before we started the show. So I know it's there. Um, and I think it's like the second link um, down, but you can um, fill out per customer, per project um, in this book, but that's not the part that I wanted to show out of this planner. The part that I wanted to show is she has goals toward the back of this book, okay? So as you see, what are your goals, okay? And she has specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound 
really good information on setting goals for your business. She has it where you can set goals quarterly, you can set goals um, annually, you can set goals, um, I think, monthly as well. So this is an awesome planner. She has a lot of really good stuff in here. Like, for instance, she has the month in review uh, where if you wanted to go over the things that you've done with your crafting business or your crafting um, and you want to review how much you spent, what was profitable, what was least profitable, what didn't work, what worked, whole nine, this is an awesome planner. So definitely check her out and grab this planner. So organization was number three on my top five goals. This book will definitely help you get there if you don't have a planner already, okay? And being that this is already made for crafters, it kind of just like fits for us. Um, but the link is in her, um, her link is in the description to this video below. So you can definitely check that out. So those are the top three goals so far. I'm going to scroll and see what folks have said as far as organization, um, and some things that they may want to do. Latasha says it's an awesome planner to have. It saved her tush many of times. Yeah. I can totally understand that because especially if you're um, listing your customers and what colors you use with customers and things like that, you can go back and double check. It is very handy for that. Yes, definitely for sure. Um, Carmen says, I have that organizer for my stabilizer. She's talking about the purse hanger. Um, it helps to know at a glance when you are running low on stabilizer. Yes, that's definitely true. Glenn, hey Glenn, I got the planner. The website wasn't clear between the digital and physical version when I bought it, so pay attention. Okay, so definitely pay attention. If you're looking for the physical version, um, read really close and make sure. Let me see. I think the link that I have in here is um, just to the actual planner page, not to which one. Um, so there's a link when you click on the page that I have, okay, so it's clearer now, Glenn, it's clearer now. So when you click on her link to get the planner, um, there's a uh, button that says, I want one. And when you click that, it shows you download on one side and sale on the other side, how much the planner is on the left and how much the download is on the right. So that is an option there. Um, Kimberly says one of her goals is to make time to take care of herself while working on her business. Yes. Um, yes, I can. Heather Butler, let me go grab that really quickly. Um, where did I go? Oh, right here. Sorry. So the purse organizer, I am going to put the link here. I'll put a link in the chat as well as in the description because I haven't um, put this in the description. I actually should have. So that's uh, my Amazon store link to the over the purse organizer that I purchased. It came with two of them, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and what I'm going to do really quick is go into the description and add that so that it will be there. Purse. Okay, so there's the link to the purse in the description. So that should be updated now. Um, okay. So nice, nice, nice. EJ's daughter says, I bought a new inexpensive computer to keep track of expenses and orders this year. Very good. Um, another problem besides cost when having numerous crafts is having room for it all. I do sewing, embroidery, 
Cricket Vinyl, Jewelry Making, Crochet. Now ask me how much room I have left. I totally understand. As I mentioned, I'm working on my my crafting room where I keep all my stuff. And I'm just like, I'm going to have to slim down. I'm just, I'm going to have to. So that's a definite thing, a part of organization that's going to take place here. EJ's daughter says, I'm cleaning my sewing room this month to be more organized. Yes, that's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, Shayna, you got your cap driver. Yas, thank you. Oh, we need to ring the bell. Holler. <laughs> yes, congratulations, girl. I know that was a trip. I am so glad you got that cap driver because that was crazy. You should have been had it, honestly, in my opinion. Um. Okay, so I want to definitely... I do lots of things, Mama12 says. I knit, crochet, make candles that look like fruit pies. Oh, cool. Do they smell like it too? Um, yes, and it's always okay to post your crafts. I make jewelry, so small items. I make planner stickers. Oh, planner stickers? Love that. <laughs> um, interesting, Miss 143. I'm actually looking at more traditional in a way. It depends. It depends. So thank you, gorgeous Rose. I appreciate that. So she says new moon, new moon, new moon um vinyl. I think is that the name of it? If, the, if so, that's uh that's what. La Ruth Anderson, sorry, I just real I just saw your post. She says, Hello, I've been missing your lives. Thank you. I appreciate that. Been very busy here at the post office. Oh, girl, I bet you have. Oh, yeah. Honey. You ain't got to say nothing. I totally understand that. That post office thing was crazy this year. I haven't ever seen it that bad. She says, I just bought the eye color 550. Have to learn how to work it. Eye color in the house. Woo! <laughs> so I definitely want to let y'all know it was like a really big toss up. The eye color 550 is transfers that's a way you can print transfers that kind of put you in the mind of screen print transfers so it's, it, it's you print out the design on your eye color and then you can press it to the shirt kind of like cut and print i don't i don't know how to really explain it but it's you you print what you're going to press to the shirt so you don't have to do anything else other than just press it the transfer to the shirt um so it's really cool and it kind of puts you in the mind of how mm, let me get my my thought straight so direct to garment printing is when you put the garment in the printer and you print directly on the garment itself that's direct to garment then of course we have our sublimation where sublimation is you print out the sublimation transfer the ink sublimates with heat activated up to about 400 degrees and transfers. It sublimates to the shirt and the polyester fibers absorb the ink and thus it prints on the shirt. You cannot sublimate white ink. Direct to garment, you can print white ink if you have a white ink direct to garment printer. You have to have a printer that has the white ink in it in order to print white with the direct to garment. And most of them have that. Um, then we also have vinyl, which everyone's familiar with t-shirt vinyl. Um, we also have what's like easy subly or glitter vinyl, or there are other folks coming out with vinyl that you can sublimate onto the vinyl, um, and then cut it out and weed it and press to the shirt. Um, so that's an option as well. I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, some folks... Let's see, screen printing. Um, screen printing is, of course, your inks and you're pressing the ink through screens. Um, all of those different methods have limitations to them. Usually fabric or details. For instance, with screen printing, it's kind of difficult to do a real live picture, a real life picture on a screen print. It's usually like something... Um, graphic like cartoonish or fonts or something like that direct to garment you can print images 
direct to garment so that's one but the problem with direct to garment the fabric has to be pre-treated first um, because fabrics have um, chemicals in them when you get them um, to help keep them fresh and crisp so to speak whereas with direct to garment you have to to apply a chemical to that garment to keep to ensure that the ink will adhere to the shirt and stay on on and in the shirt. Um, so direct to garment, you have to pre-treat. Sublimation, you don't have to pre-treat anything, but sublimation is polyester only. It's polyester. So whatever garment it is that you sublimate has to have polyester in it, okay? Some form of polyester some form so you can get a shirt that's um 85 percent polyester and 15 percent cotton well the 85 percent of the polyester is the only thing that's going to absorb the ink that cotton will not absorb sublimation ink it will not so the 85 percent so your your sublimation image will be faded by about 15 percent it'll still be there but and then it also messes with your color composition because it's not absorbing as much ink so if you're used to um and i used to have uh samples to show how that works um but i don't know where they are right now but if, if you normally have a brown color that you sublimate and it's a nice rich brown well if you do the 85 percent it won't be as rich it'll be a little bit lighter so the color will be different if you have 50 percent polyester the color will even be even lighter it's really cool it's like a science um to it if you knew um if i could show it to you which i have a video on it so at some point you could probably check that out um on sublimation but with the inks it does have to be polyester some form of polyester so there's some folks out there that'll say but eve i see people sublimate on cotton all the time they just spray it with this treatment stuff and then they can sublimate on cotton okay well guess what what they're doing is applying a poly based product to the fibers of the cotton shirt and if like one in particular that I'm very familiar with, um, one combination that folks will use is there's a can of polycrylic, polycrylic. And what polycrylic is, normally when you make a wood project, say you build a dog house and you stain the dog house and you want to protect the dog house from the weather, from the elements, well, you would paint the polycrylic which is a clear um acrylic polyester acrylic that goes over the top that will help pr protect the wood and the stain from getting rot and damage and weather mess up and stuff like that okay so what that is i mean it's like a, a shellac or or you know you've seen polyurethane on wood floors this is like a coating that's almost like a molasses and then it hardens you know so what they're doing is spraying that into the they're watering it down spraying that into the shirt so what it does is it does add some poly into the fibers of the cotton that will allow the ink to absorb that sublimation um it will allow sorry the the poly in, in that soaked into those fibers allow it to absorb the sublimation ink. The problem with that is when it dries, um, it's going to harden some, even though it's watered down. Um, also, there's some toss up as to how it washes out. Depends on the person who applies it, how they apply it. Um, and then in addition to that, you're still talking about an artificial substance that's been applied to the shirt to get it to absorb the sublimation ink. Some have found success with it. Some have not. So 
that's something that um trial and error okay and you you'd have to try it and figure out if that's what works with you but in my opinion sublimation is somewhat more user friendly and it's the the cooler option for garment decor if you can get your customer to be okay with polyester garments or polyester uh, but if you can't, well, then you're you're limited to what you can do. So now you go back to either vinyl, screen printing, um, direct to garment, or something, or easy subly type stuff. Well, there's another option. Okay, there is another option, and it it does go with like the eye color 550. And the eye color 550, what it basically does is the ink that goes in that printer they first of all they have a white ink that can go in that um and what it does is it lays down this ink on the transfer that's clear right and the printout you can press just the ink it's dry and it's kind of like a screen print um but you can press that to the shirt and peel it off like vinyl. It's actually really cool. But instead of you using vinyl, you're actually using ink. And it again, it puts me in the mind of a thinner uh, screen print ink, basically. But I'm not. I ha I'm, I started researching it and then I stopped <laughs> for a crazy reason. But I do intend to pick back up with that because if you do a lot of t-shirts, I think the um, transfer printer is the way to go if you do a lot of t-shirt printing the transfer printer in my opinion is the way to go um, as opposed to any of the other options because you're able to get the cotton which is what most people holler for and you're able to print images and stuff on dark shirts black shirts whereas sublimation you cannot print on black you cannot print <laughs> sublimation directly onto a black polyester shirt you cannot do it you can print on vinyl you can sublimate the vinyl and then press that to a black shirt yes that way you can apply uh sublimation but if you don't have that vinyl base then you cannot sublimate black polyester and be able to see it let me say that. You can sublimate it, but you just won't be able to see it. So anyway, saying all that to say, uh, the eye color is something else I would like to look into eventually. Um, but right now, we're going to delve into quilting for this year. <laughs> so at any rate, let me go back. I apologize. I'm trying to make sure that I get all of the babies and ring the bell for all of the babies. Um, I am. So if I have missed your baby. And did not ring the bell for you. Please definitely. Um, December 21st. Oh Nora. I'm pretty sure more than positive. That that was sent to you. But I'll double check. Um, Miss Beckham. Yes. In the hoop. Yes. Um, where do you buy your stabilizer from, Elizabeth? Elizabeth Raffern, I, Raffern, sorry, I purchased stabilizer from a lot of different places. Um, thank you, Scooby-Doo. I appreciate that very, very much, actually. Um, stabilizer I get from, uh, Tex-Mac, which I've put in the chat already. Um, I also get it from Metro EMB. Uh, let me put that in the chat as well. EMB.com. I get my thread and stabilizer from Metro EMB. Um, I also get some stabilizer from Amazon, believe it or not. Um, especially if we're talking about stabilizer for my 4x4 embroidery machine. I get a lot of that stabilizer from Amazon because it's just affordable. Um, but yes, you can uh, get a hold to stabilizer from Amazon. Direct to garment costs twenty thousand dollars, and the eye color eye color is forty three hundred dollars. That's another thing as well. Uh, thank you for pointing that out, Larouth. Because with the direct to garment, yes, you you're definitely looking at 
some G's, like 20 G's for a direct-to-garment printer, a good direct-to-garment printer. Whereas uh, sublimation, um, uh, transfer printers, vinyls, uh, what was the other one? Screen print. Screen print is a toss-up. But even still, screen print still doesn't go into the twenty thousand range in most instances. On the, I mean, it can because you buy the uh, screen print uh, wheel where you put all the different shirts on all the different things so that you can keep the carousel going. Um, the dryer, the inks, the frames, the or the screens rather. You can get up in the thousands with that, but still, one direct garment machine. That and you got to get the um, pre-treat machine with the direct to garment machine. So I mean, it's just oh y'all, yeah, twenty k. No, I mean if I did okay, if I were in a high, high, extremely high retail turnover space like the mall, and I'm not talking about any mall. I'm talking about like a high traffic, high foot traffic mall. Um, or the beach, somewhere on the coast where people buy t-shirts, you know what I'm saying? Or souvenir shirts and stuff like that. Direct the garment, way to go. Because it's fast, it's easy for the most part. Um, especially if you buy pre-treated shirts, then you don't need the pre-treatment machine. Uh, but you can knock shirts out and good quality shirts, they kind of wash out a little bit. But for the most part, great idea, great setup. Okay, direct the garment. But you are investing heavily initially, heavily in that direct the garment machine. You're going to pay out the butt for that. Um, but you'll make a good return if you're in a good place. So my thing is, if you purchase that machine and you're not in a good space, which I saw that firsthand. I saw it firsthand. A company had to direct the garment machine and they just didn't use it. They rare, I'd say, out of 10 orders, two would be used on that direct garment machine. So it was a waste of money. It really was because it wasn't in the right location. So they didn't make the money off of it. And they couldn't really charge what they wanted to charge to try and get the money back that they've invested. It, it was crazy. So direct the garment, you just, you got to be in the right spot for that. Or online sales, have high, high turnover online sales, great designs, things that are going to make you some money, um, then I would say direct to garment. But otherwise, uh -uh. other options need to be there. Hey, Andrea, how are you? Welcome. Um, I see bells. Hold on. Have you considered the bleach method for sublimating on the dark polyester shirts? I have, but I'm not a fan on, I'm not a fan of the bleach out in one spot type thing that's just uh i like nice and neat so to speak um remind me to send you the picture of the naruto shirt that i did for my daughter where i sublimated on glow in the dark vinyl um and it turned out absolutely gorgeous um that was a really cool project that i need to do a video on um uh, but i'll send you that and you can do the vinyl um, instead of doing that messy bleach. And then I've seen where some people have tried the bleach and it just did not work. The bleach just didn't work for them. Rollins is selling a direct -to garment printer for about 4,000. Melissa at Silhouette School debuted it on her channel. Um, I would have to see it the two or three. Has it been three or has it been two? I have to think on that. Um, the direct to garment machines that I've experienced are were temperamental, so four thousand is really low for a direct to garment machine. So I would definitely need to see what in the world is going on with that. Someone gave me a Udo. It has the emulsion light and dryer. I just need the screens and paint. Oh, okay. So um, for screen printing, yes. Which I'm glad you said that. Um, going back to the goals. So the other goal, <laughs> the other, so we did the first three goals. The fourth goal is streamline. We talked about organizing. Organizing is one thing, but let's get into some streamlining. And when I say streamlining, 
so many of us do so many different things. And to organize your things is a physical aspect, which streamlining technically is physical too, but we're talking about more mental streamlining. So when we get into doing sublimation, for instance, can you streamline and focus on sublimating the things that you've seen that have made the money for you if you're getting into making money? Okay, this is business. Now, with the or with the streamlining, we're talking about business mostly because if you're doing things for a hobby or a craft because you just want to, well, I mean, you can streamline as well, but you don't absolutely have to because you usually, when you're doing things as a hobby or for fun, you usually don't buy bulk or a whole bunch of something. Like, for instance... Um, sublimation, me wanting to get into doing sublimation, I purchased, um, like 50 purses, little zipper pouches that I could use and sublimate and make money off of. Um, also for also, you know, and that's inventory though. You see what I'm saying? This is why I'm saying streamline because that's inventory. So if I decide, okay, the purses are hot, I'm making money off of them, well, I've streamlined, I found my niche and I'm sticking to it, maybe add something every so often, but for the most part, I have, I've streamlined, I know, focused, I know what my goal is and I know that's what I'm going to make money off of. If I'm doing embroidery, I know I'm going to be embroidering pillowcases and um, garden flags. So I know that's what I'm doing. And what that streamlining does is allows you to financially focus on um, what you plan to make your money off of. And it helps eliminate waste. It helps eliminate waste. Um, and that, my friends, leads me into, uh, because all of these go hand in hand, which is why we arrange these goals this way, which leads me into number five which is not streamlining, but money refining. Refine your money. Refine it. Why am I saying refine your money? Because I saw a person in one of the groups that was starting her business with embroidery. She wanted to go to, it wasn't Hobby Lobby, I don't think it might have been Michael's, but she wanted to go, no, it was Joanne's. She wanted to go to Joanne's and buy in bulk t-shirts from Joanne's so that she can do her embroidery on t-shirts. And my first question or my first line of concern is why, why would you buy shirts and bulk and she wanted to know from she was she was posting in the group because she wanted to know what people thought she should get in bulk from joanne's and i'm like first of all you're not selling these shirts to the people in the group so asking the people in a group wasn't financially savvy if you get where i'm going so for instance I had a, a um, uh, event that came up, it's been over a year ago, it's probably been closer to two years. And at this event, I was invited as the exclusive vendor to bake shirts on the spot, exclusive. It was just me, nobody else. I was so super excited about this event that I went and bought I want to say it wasn't a lot, but it was a lot for me at the time. I want to say it was like $250 worth of t-shirts, all different sizes and only one or two colors. I think it was only one color, actually, now that I'm, I'm reflecting, but even still, I bought all of these shirts in all of these sizes and get there and out of every 20 customers, I might have had the size and the color for maybe 12 of the customers, which isn't terribly bad odds, but the fact still remains that even then, I still needed customers to come up. So 
you you have to know your audience. You have to know your audience and you have to make financially sound decisions. You can get, yes, you can get blanks for garden flags, Nora. Yes, I have some. Um, exactly. Miss Bickup says, see what is selling in your area first, but even, even seeing what's in your area, like for, okay. So Nora is talking about flags doing, maybe doing garden flags. The spring is coming. Garden flags are hot in the spring. They really are. They're not like super, super hot, but most folks love to decorate their yard, especially with a pretty monogram. Okay. So Garden flags come in a bunch of different colors, y'all. They come in a bunch of different colors. Um, I have red, yellow with the pretty uh, wavy yellow at the bottom. It's a burlap flag with the ribbon, wavy ribbon at the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful gathered ribbon. I have red, yellow, green, I think, and blue or something like that. That's just me and that's just poor flags. But say, for instance, you want to get into doing flags. Well, what colors do you buy? What, what colors? What size flag do you buy? Do you go ahead and buy 100 flags to keep on hand so that when the customer calls, you already have it, you can go ahead and embroider it and get it out? Why would, if you have a reliable supplier, you shouldn't need to do that. You shouldn't need to do that because you may have 20 customers that want a black flag or the flag with the black at the bottom and you didn't even order that color. You see what I'm saying? You you want to be sure to make your financial decisions and make sound financial decisions. Don't just go gung-ho and just buy everything out just because you can and even resist the urge to do that when an item is on clearance which I'm telling you that I'm talking to myself <laughs> I mean technically I'm talking to myself I have a bad habit a horrible habit if I go in the store and I see something and it's a bunch of it and it's on clearance and it's something that I might can do something with it, I will buy it. And I had to learn to fight against that because it wasn't a sound financial decision. It was not. I have a bag in there, a box rather, of totally adorable makeup purses that are velvet and they're beautiful colors and they're about yay big and they're rounded at the top, you know, kind of square flattish at the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful. If I were to put some embroidery on the front of that, a monogram or something like that, it would be gorgeous. And I have, I'll say 15 of them. I haven't made one yet and I've had them for two years. Haven't made one yet. They were on clearance. Now, granted, that's because I didn't take advantage of a situation and go ahead and make them and try and sell them. But the thing is, I have them. They're in inventory. They're sitting there and I'm doing nothing with them. Okay. You may not have that problem, but most of us crafters do. We purchase all kinds of stuff thinking we'll get to it, we'll make the most of it, and it sits there. And so now I'm looking at possibly um, offloading, destashing those bags because when am I ever going to get around to doing something with them? When? When, basically. So that being said, that's your five goals. Um, go back, check, check the goals. Get, get yourself organized first and foremost, actually. I, I think organization should be first. But get your planner. She has a downloadable version. Uh, get yourself organized. Get yourself uh, with your finances in order. I mean, the funny thing is the stash sale. Yeah, for sure. Need to. The funny thing is we're stuck at home for the most part, okay? Uh, a lot of us are stuck at home. Let me go back and say that. A lot of us are stuck at home right now. So being that we're stuck at home, you have, you, you, can, you have a better opportunity to make the time that you need in order to 
set your goals and achieve your goals. And you don't have to achieve all five in one 12 month period. You don't. It can be done if you sit down and make it a serious matter and, and go ahead and stick to your guns, but it's not absolutely necessary. But at the end of the day, what I would really appreciate is when you have an opportunity, go into the either the Facebook hoop group or the group here on thebabiesbooty.com and let me know what your main goal, I'm only going to ask for one, what your main goal is for your crafting business or your crafting hobby is for this year okay one goal one and the reason why i'm saying one is because we don't want a ton of pressure um but one goal is definitely attainable and if there's any goal that you have that you would like some encouragement on uh, because we will be checking back in with you you guys and uh i'll say not the first quarter, but in the second quarter, the second three months. So within six months, check in with you and see how close you are to attaining your goal and um, what steps you've taken to reach those goals, okay? So if you have an opportunity, please jump into um, our group, one of the groups, and put down what your goal is, like Walk by Faith already put in the chat organization is my main goal <laughs> and I totally get it because um organization is tough that's a tough one that's a tough one mainly for me that's a tough one but please go ahead and um, put down your goal so that is what I wanted to discuss tonight we'll go back into the chat if you order as you get orders if that makes sense thank you Avery Head that's basically what I was saying um, order as you get orders. I do it all the time now. So now the customer calls, like um, one of my main business customers, they'll call, hey, I need 15 long sleeve shirts and 10 t-shirts um, with our logo on it. Okay, this is how much it's going to be. Um, and the cost of my stuff has gone up because of shipping, which I didn't even have to tell her. Uh, but I look up the shirts, how much they'll be, how much they'll be to ship them, um, add in my whatever, whether it's embroidery or vinyl fee, and send her the invoice. As soon as she pays it, I see that she paid it, I order the shirts and wait on the shirts to get here. That's pretty much how that goes now. And it saves me a whole ton of stress and aggravation from having shirts sitting. I have bags and bags of shirts that are just sitting and that has become an area of frustration for me uh so yes the stashing is something that we'll eventually be looking at not sure how i'm gonna do it but it is something i'm looking into i have a facebook shop and they give you three days to send it to the customer yes i've ordered some things on facebook and that's actually pretty cool sheila cushionberry i also make bows but haven't made any in a while too many projects yeah, where do you order your shirts from? I order my shirts from a company called Carolina Made, um, mainly because they are local, um, and I'm able to usually get the shirts pretty quickly. The only problem with Carolina Made is you need an account with them. So you will need to set up a business account with them in order to order from their website or call in orders. So that being the case, I also use Jiffy shirts um, because you don't need an account with JiffyShirts.com. You just order from them. Now, I will say because of the mail delays, I had ordered some. Usually, I get my shirts from Jiffy shirts in about two days. But the last time I ordered from Jiffy shirts, them fools didn't give me my shirts for a week and a half. And I was not happy. But it worked out because I was sick anyway. Um, so I couldn't do the order anyway. If you order as you go, how do you know they will get to you in time, especially for the three-day deadline? That's the thing, Miss Presha. I don't have a three-day deadline. Nobody, for the most part, is going to put a deadline on me of three days. 
If you do, you're paying a rush fee. I, I don't do three days. Um, I tell my customers seven to 10 days. Um, they're not my only customers. And, um, you know, I don't do three days. It's, it's a 10 day turnaround time, seven to 10 days minimum. Um, so that's what helps me there. And it's the mail system. Yeah, I knew it wasn't. I, no, Sugar Sugar Bridges Nursery. I love your name. That is super cool, Sugar Bridges. <laughs> Sorry, that just tickled me. Um, I knew it was the mail. Sorry, I did say it as if it was Jiffy Shirt's fault. And I knew it wasn't, but I was still upset about that thing. It was not Jiffy Shirt's. They got it right out, but it, it did not come right away to me. Reality, no photo sample post no one posting pics of my work when it arrived no sales lesson learned on a positive note i now have a plethora of online sites with good prices for anything y'all yes 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 so uh another thing miss pressure i also let my customers know i have to order shirts now i don't have anywhere to go pick up shirts so i am at the mercy of wherever i'm ordering shirts from cool thing is most folks already dealing with COVID. They've already been through this thing with COVID and they totally understand that there is a delay in things and that you have to have it shipped now. So I've been able to navigate through that pretty successfully and it's worked out great. Um, and my customers also know, yeah, no, I'm not going to have this back to you really quickly. So, you know, that's just pretty much how that goes. So, yeah. One goal is to use the fabric I bought in 2020. I've been asking to make pet clothing. I've been asked, rather, to make pet clothing. Made a few for Christmas gifts, and they are asking for me to make more. That is totally awesome. Pet clothes. I know someone who makes pet clothing. Wish we had somebody to make big dog pet clothing. Sugar Bridges says, I am a doll artist. Do you do the, um, what do they call, reborn dolls? Those are beautiful. First, last, I've never used them, but Clothing Shop Online keeps sending me coupons. Clothing Shop Online, we'll have to look them up. Nora says, the Intuit software lets you scan in your receipts. Yas. Good all having trouble with my internet. Have a blessed year. You have a good night, Alice Rigby. I could have swore I just saw somebody saying something about ringing a bell. Ring. Hello, dear. What up? Oh Lord. Um, that's the one that's no longer sick. Um, all having trouble with my internet. Have a blessed. Okay, I already said that. I need to organize everything. <laughs> Shirley Stewart says, first of all, I want to organize my embroidery designs. That one is a doozy. Um, organizing embroidery designs if you have quite as many as I have. It's ridiculous. Oi, do Brazil. She says, Brazil is nice. Brazil is beautiful. Absolutely. Tell I also tell them that items are ordered and their 7 to 14 day turnaround town time starts when the items arrive to me, Ms. Bickham says. That sounds like a good call. Definitely. Angela Johnson, Goal 2021, learn to make 52 items in 52 weeks and sell it because of overstock of fabric. <laughs> That's a big uh goal and i do hope definitely you'll make it i'll keep in touch and find out if you have she says life like silicone dolls okay cool cool it's still just as cute though lil nelson uses quickbooks online self-employed but don't think i can add customer database uh what is your turnaround time for embroidery orders it's the same i don't care what order it is it's going to be seven to ten business days um uh, the only time that changes is if it's a customer that pays a rush fee, number one. Um, number two, asks if I can do it faster. And if it's a loyal customer that I've had for quite some time, yeah, I'll work on trying to get it to them. Um, if it is going to take longer for whatever reason, then that time frame will change. Like if I already have five, six orders sitting and you come to me and I'm like, okay, well, I already have some orders waiting. So it's not going to be seven to 10 days. It's going to be more like 10 to 14 days. I mean, I have to be, you have to be, I have to be realistic and I have to be honest. 
And because number one, I have to wait on your stuff to get to me. Number two, I have my own health limitations that I have to take into account. Um, and because there are days where it's difficult to get out of bed or migraine days, something like that, I have to take into account that things happen and I'm not going to be able to get orders like plug away, plug away, plug away. That's just not in my nature. I can't do it. So I have to definitely like, uh, Nora says under promise and over deliver. So a lot of times if I can, okay, thank you, Latonya. I'm gonna have to look that up. Um, if I can get it done faster, I will every time because I, I like to see, oh, wow, that got that quick. Yes, I was able to get it done. It came in early, blah, 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 and they're happy. But if it doesn't come in early, then I don't have to worry about nobody being sad because I told you it's going to take longer. Um, I saw Alice Rigby. She said Alice Rigby. Let me go see. Um, Alice Rigby. I saw someone told me that you asked me to ring the bell. And I don't see your post. So, Alice Rigby, if you do have a new baby, please let me know what your baby is so that I can go ahead and ring the bell for you. Meanwhile, I'm going to do this. Okay. Sorry, I had to take care of something. And I've been trying to... Whoop. Uh, Glenn, I've been trying to... You know what? Let's do this. I saw your post. And for whatever reason, it wasn't wanting to let me post it. So I'm going to post it for you. Um, I need to work on bookkeeping. Elizabeth says I use Square for sales and it keeps my inventory, but need to keep better track of spending purchasing. Yes. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, Simone, I was looking at one of your videos. How do you save your designs with a picture? Um, I use a program called, um, so icons, so icons. It is on my website right here, the It's $25 and it will allow you to see the thumbnail of your embroidery designs. So icons. So Simone, if you go there, it's an awesome little program, really easy. You install it, you, um, you know, tell it to, Pull up all your embroidery files and you'll see a thumbnail. I was looking at one of your videos. Oh, sorry. That was the same thing. Elizabeth, I was looking at Square as well. Sweet. Always give yourself a buffer on the delivery time. Thank you, Ms. Bickup. Time you, my number one goal is organization. My business crafts are spilling over into my regular living space. Downsizing is a must. And yes, coming here, I needed to... Um, streamline as well because I'm somewhat limited in space in my main studio so I needed another room in order to put supplies so that's when I'm like okay you know I'm not gonna have no three room supply nothing so yeah I needed to get that worked out <laughs> um Alice Rigby his name is Tom you got a PE 800 girl holler yes we gonna ring the bell for you Congratulations on your PEA hundred, y'all. <laughs> um, just organized my design files on laptop, the USB. So worth the time. Christina says, yes, it is when you get it done. Yes, yes, yes. Elizabeth, and thank you again, Latanya. I appreciate that. We definitely don't want to overlook a bell ring. Elizabeth Rathburn, I wish I had a dedicated craft space right now. It's my dining room table and have maybe more of my living room, which is understandable. You have to use what you have, but if it's organized, then it can kind of help keep it from overflowing into chaos for, for uh, how I would like to put it. Um, so... 
you guys, thank you so much. It's 10.53. We're going to go ahead and start wrapping up. Um, hopefully, I didn't miss any bells. But I definitely wanted to thank you all um, for joining us. You bought a Recoma EM1010, so I'm getting started as well, Dab Prince 09. Did you get your baby already, Dab Prince, or is it on the way? I would like to know. Miss Bickham says, I need to reorganize my studio. I think the long arm will be taken down to a twin. I understand. Avery Head, ring my bell. I bought three machines, a brother 625, a brother Serger, and a commercial machine. Avery Head, congratulations. you forgot my baby oh what's your baby please please tell me because i did not ring the bell i don't remember ringing the bell for you what's your baby <laughs> i need to know so we can ring the bell yes yes we want to get our bell rings in before whoops before the end of the night so let me know glad you're feeling better i'm on the road oh please be careful on the road stay safe Please stay safe. You got it in December? Well, congratulations, Dale Prince. Oh, EM10. EM10. <laughs> congratulations on your baby. That's a big baby. <laughs> you won your second Kimmy. Oh my God, are you serious? How? Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> she said two cameos. <laughs> That is hilarious. I am surprised he didn't put a cap on that. That is what's up. Congratulations. <laughs> Nedra says, did you mention when your beginner class for Subway Pro is? Um, I've already done those classes. They are available on my website. Um, so if you are interested in taking, um, I have three levels of Subway Pro classes and I have an applique class that is available right now on my website, thebabiesbooty.com. Just look for the video hub and all of those videos are available for purchase. You can watch them now at your leisure. I even have them where you can rent them. You can rent it for three days if you don't want to pay the full price. So yes, those are definitely available on my website. Um, Nora says she tries to use mint for personal use. Yeah, I need to definitely find something to use for my bookkeeping, but I'll have to talk to CFO about that. Him loves me. <laughs> oh, man, she got a white one and a black one. That is so cool. Go, you. I have yet, yet to open mine and do something with it. No, I'm lying. I did open it once, and I think I did something with it twice, but I really need to get into it. Do you have sublimation classes? Um, no, but we definitely can put those uh, in the plans because sublimation is is awesome. We have a lot of videos on here live, though, of sublimation. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, Sheila Cushionberry is funny. She's there when they do the lives, just about every live, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. She's been with been on their lives since day one. So if anybody deserves two of them, it's her. Thank you, Angelia Baker. Yas. So at any rate, you guys, I am so happy for all of the new babies. Congratulations on the windfall. Um, thank you for sharing your new babies with us. We're super excited for you. Ultimately, I would love to see your new projects as long as they're you know, safe and non-offensive. You can post your um, your new projects on the website on Facebook or on the babiesbooty.com forums. Elizabeth Rathburn, thank you very much. I was bored. <laughs> I was bored and playing and decided to have some fun. So that's where that came from. Uh, Willie Roseman, a set from v includes a heat press, hat press, and a mug press. Well, congratulations. On your presents! Yes. <laughs> Congratulations! Woo, she got some presents. You're going to be pressing all kinds of stuff. That's what's up. 
All right, you guys, it's 11 p.m. I had a ball tonight ringing the bell, talking about goals. Please definitely look into setting your goals for this year. Um, you have four quarters to the year, business quarters. If you are a business, you can do it. You can achieve these. We're here for you. Let us know on the Hoop Group, uh, whichever one or both, what your goal, one goal is. Or if you want to share the others, you can as well. But we're only going to ask for one. Um, and meanwhile, let's get into quilting, y'all. Who's looking forward to quilting? Woo! So I'm excited about that and looking forward to doing some quilting uh, with you all. So I appreciate you joining me this evening. I had a lot of fun. I look forward to next Sunday and we will definitely get back into doing some crafting on the live so that we're not just sitting here gabbing away. So thank you for joining me. It was awesome to have you here. I look forward to it and I want you all, please stay safe. Please stay safe. Please stay happy and healthy, and we look forward to seeing you all next week. All right, so thank you. Have a good night, and you guys, I look forward to seeing you around in the hoop groups. <laughs> Bye.